Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Sleepy Hollow cards from Derek McGee. And these cards are being presented by Chris Chelko down at Whispering Imps. If you'd like to learn more about these cards, you can visit whisperingimps.com. As you would suspect, the Sleepy Hollow deck takes us inspiration from the 1820 uh, Washington Irving short story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Derek McGee is the one that conceived of this deck. He's the one that came up with the inspiration for this. Uh, he did the Les Milliers deck. Uh, he did the Cherries Casino deck. Uh, we did reviews for those a little while back. And these were masterfully illustrated by French illustrator, J.C. Desivier. The front of the tuck case is all done in this beautiful, like, ancient scroll work. It says The Legend of Sleepy Hollow on the front and playing cards. Both of the sides say The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. On the bottom of the tuck case are all your credits. So you have your producers, your deck illustrators, your designers, uh, your dot coms, everything you need to know. And the top says Sleepy Hollow. The back design of the tuck case is of course the back design of the cards and that it's pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on their retail stock. They do have a traditional cut, they do have air cushion embossing, and they do have magic finish. Magic finish makes the cards just a little bit thicker because it's an actual coating that goes on the outside of the cards. A stack of 10 cards measures in on the caliper at 2.94. Now a standard deck of bikes comes in at about 2.82, so you can see how they would be just a tiny bit thicker. With this deck, you're going to get two gaff cards. Uh, one of them is a double backer, which is great for magic tricks. The second is a double backer, but one side is the face of the tuck case. The court cards in your Sleepy Hollow deck are all custom. However, they are the same from suit to suit. So all the kings, queens, jacks depict the same image. The king is, of course, the headless horseman. The queen is Katrina Van Tassel, and the jack is Ichabod Crane. All your pips and indice cards will look standard with standard layouts. There is an original font in the corner and then there is a beautiful colored watermark behind the pips to kind of add to the mystery of the theme of the deck. Your ace of spades is beautifully uh, embellished with a lot of scroll work and right there in the center of that really fat chubby spade pip is of course the main character, the Headless Horseman. That is it for this review of the Sleepy Hollow deck. Like I said, if you'd like to purchase this deck or learn more about it, you can visit whisperingimps.com. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks.